Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to the annual Ghost Town Pumpkin Festival, which is of course our Halloween special for the year, and this game sounds wonderful. I think I only heard about it around a week ago, and it really is only an annual thing. The servers are switched on around Halloween, and they get switched off again a week or so after Halloween, so you can only play it around this time of year. So we're going to visit a spooky ghost town, and we're going to have a little look around at all the Halloweeny things we can find, and also we're going to look at lots of pumpkins that have been carved by thousands of people out there in the real world. Just thousands of pumpkins with all sorts of arty designs on them out there just for us to look at and enjoy. Which sounds lovely, I like the sound of that. And then we're going to carve our own pumpkin and leave it behind for other people to enjoy. It just sounds fantastic, what a lovely idea for a game. And also, the game is free. If you want it to be, you can pay whatever you like for it. If you do pay a very small amount, you get a little treat, which we'll come to in a moment, but it's a pay what you like game. As always, the links are in the video description below, so you can check the game out a bit more if you would like to. But anyway, time to get on with it and make our way over to the annual Ghost Town Pumpkin Festival. Okay, so first we have to design our character, which as you can see is a ghost, because of course it's a Ghost Town Pumpkin Festival. It is a pumpkin festival for a town of ghosts. You have to go and become a ghost to go and join in. It's a literal ghost town. That's where all the ghosts live in that town, which I think is quite fun. So we have to become a ghost to go and join in the festivities, which is very good. I do like that. So yeah, we'll appear like this or whatever we choose. So when we're playing the game and we're ghosting around the town, we will look like this and then we'll see other people and we get to see what they've chosen to look like, which is quite fun. I do like the classic ghosty appearance here. I do like that. A sheet with a face on it. That's quite fun. So let's go and pick our eyes, shall we? What eyes shall we have? I'd like to be a sort of a happy ghost. I mean, there are so many different options. I don't want that look because that looks a bit grumpy and a bit angry. I don't want to be an angry, grumpy ghost. Or I don't want to be a sad ghost like that. I want to be a sort of a happy ghost, maybe. Which one of these looks sort of happy and jolly? I mean, they look quite fun. That's quite fun. I do like those. Oh, that's exciting. A mask. That could be quite good. Uh, or just one big eye. That's also quite fun. Anything I missed at the top there? Oh, I quite like them. Oh, they're sort of cutesy and adorable. Okay, we'll pick those, look. And then we'll pick our mouth. And there are so many different types again. Look at this. Yeah, we don't want anything like that, look. Because that looks a little bit sort of, a little bit negative. We want sort of happy, like that, look. Oh, a happy ghost. Or like that one. That's quite fun. Or that one, again, you know, happy ghost. That's a good ghost. Uh, anything else down here? I do quite like the moustache. That's quite good. I like the moustache. I also do like that, though. But I do quite like the moustache. Uh, maybe we'll pick that. So we'll pick that. I think that looks quite good. However, there is a button over here which has got me all very giddy and excited. Look at this. It's a button that says hats on it, which is fantastic. So if you do pay a very little amount toward the game, if you pay the minimum, which when I bought it was $2, you can pay more, but if you pay a minimum of $2, it unlocks a load of hats for you to choose from. And of course we had to go and do that. So what hats do we have available? Please be a completely wonderful selection. Oh, there are so many. Oh, there are so many. Oh my goodness me, this is fantastic. Oh, you can have candles on your head or a big kind of Viking style hat type thing, bunny ears, just a plant, a plant on your head. That is brilliant. I do like a nice plant. And if we could have one on our head all the time, that would be brilliant. There's a traffic cone, there's a crown. There's a crown with a very pointy, pointy bit on it. Oh, there's, there's too many options. There's a kind of a, uh, what is that? Like a flamingo type thing. There's a chef's hat. There's a little teeny tiny hat there. There is, oh. Oh, there's a gigantic stovepipe hat. Oh, I do quite like that. That goes quite well with the moustache look. Like a sort of a Victorian ghost type thing. I quite like that. I think we might have to go for that. There are so many that I'd love to go for, but that one, I think, that one might be my favourite. I do like the crown. I do like the crown with the point a bit, and I like the plant. But that hat there is just so ludicrously excessively big that I think we have to choose that. Do you know what? We're going to go for that. That looks fantastic. And the game gives us a name as well. So our name that's been randomly assigned is Wearily Brave Wizard. I do think that's quite good as well. I can imagine a Wearily Brave Wizard 
just a wizard there at the back going, fine, yeah, okay, right, I'll fight the Balrog, hang on a minute, Alakazam, or whatever spell they'd cast. I kind of imagine them running into battle somewhat tired and reluctantly. So there we go. We are known as Weirly Brave Wizard, and that's the ghost that we're going to play as. Wonderful, lovely, lovely hat going on. And here we go. Mayor Bones welcomes you back. Ghost Town's 1,000 second annual pumpkin festival, Hayride of Horror, The Maze of Madness, Award Badges, Play the Guessing Game, do you recognise this spot? Come back on Halloween night for a surprise. Oh, that's very exciting. I'm playing this on Halloween right now. It's not quite Halloween night where I am at the moment, but it might well be Halloween somewhere on the planet. So maybe that'll be a thing we can look at as well. But here we go. So now it just turns into a game where we have a little wander about and we can just you know, look at some things. There's a lot to go around and look at. Let's have a little look over here. I mean, there are some pumpkins here, which are the algorithmically selected pumpkins because everyone loves an algorithm, don't we just? So these have been carved by real actual people out there in the world somewhere. So somebody made this. I'm not quite sure who made it, but there we go. Looks like a guillotine to me. I suspect Jeff might have made that one because it says Jeff on it. So there you go. Well done, Jeff. That one, I don't quite know what's going on with that one. That one's just glowing. That just looks like a kind of a plain pumpkin. That one is very detailed. Look at that. That is very, very detailed. Oh, hello. Hello, friends. Oh, you've got a hat on as well. Your hat is magnificent. Hi, uh, curiously immense cat. Hello, curiously immense cat. Oh, this is wonderful. Look, so they're also people just, you know, having a little look around and enjoying looking at the pumpkins, which is fantastic. But yeah, that's good. I like that. They've got a little one up there. That's also quite nice. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that glowing one. I don't quite know what's happening with that. It's certainly very interesting. Hang on, we've kind of missed these ones. Hang on, go back around the front again. Um, That one is also very elaborate. I can't work out exactly what it is. Is it some sort of monster with a big, I don't know, like a big sort of mouth open type thing over there? It might be. That's some sort of walking kind of creature, like a, I don't know, a weird rabbit or something. There's, there's like a doorway with a person in it. I quite like that. That's quite good using, what do they call it? What would the term be? Like negative space or whatever. That's quite fun. And then there's a good old classic kind of cat just there. That one is, oh, that's clever. That's clever. Like a sort of a lizardy chameleon thing, climbing up something, up a stick. That's quite good. And then what's that one? That looks like Pikmin. That looks like Pikmin. Yeah, I think they're Pikmin from the Nintendo game. And uh, yeah, you can click on them. So expertly beastly pumpkin created by bloody curdlingly savage shadow. And if you like them, you can just go, yep, yeah, I like that. Give a little like there. And I think, yeah, there are little kind of rosettes you can give out. I don't quite know how we do that yet. I've not found that out. But uh, yeah, so if there is one that we think is particularly utterly outstanding, we can give it a little kind of official rosette type thing to say that's absolutely amazing. I think that had a few, didn't it? When we clicked on it, that's got three, has it? I mean, how many has that got? That's not got any rosette things. Although I will give that a like because I do like the design. I do think that's really clever design. That's very good. Um, and then, yeah, there's loads over here as well. I mean, that's quite fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not a very arty person. So that to me is completely amazing. Uh, slightly agreeable scarecrow. Well done. Oh my word. That's got 12 bajillion things on it. Yeah, we'll give that a like as well because that is fantastic. Um, but yeah, there are so many. There are so many, that's incredibly detailed, but I do like a good old classic sort of pumpkin. I like that. That one is very good. Look at it, just nice and simple, straightforward, mouth, eyes, glows. I like it. You know what, wildly sad gamer? I'm gonna give you a like for that one. I think that's good. I like a classic. And there's all sorts of other stuff we can do as well. So over here, look, there is a house. Can we get in the house possibly? I'm not entirely sure. There are so many of these. There are so many. That one's got a music note on. There's a little green one there. There's a little green one. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, where shall we go? Shall we head over to that? Because that looks suitably spooky, look. That looks very spooky. Oh, look at the one out the front. That is magnificent. Okay. Slightly agreeable scarecrow. Oh, didn't they do the other one over at the thing we just saw? Okay, we'll give that a like as well. That's good. Is that the one that's over there? Is that that one? I think maybe that's featured on the random algorithm sort of display thing as well. I think it might be the same one, not quite sure. There's a cat one there, which is quite fun. Um, right, 
Can we go in here? Because it looks like we can. It looks like we might be able to get inside this sort of spooky church and have a little look around. Look at the amount of pumpkins there are. I'm, I'm amazed at how many there are. Uh, that doorway appears to be a bit blocked in. Is there another way in? Can we jump? We can't jump as a ghost. We can't sort of jump, I don't think. Um, what can we do? I don't think... Maybe we can't get in. Or maybe there's... Is there something to do with the door? I mean, we are a ghost. Can we just sort of ghost our way through things? Can we ghost our way through? That's all very eerie and blue. It's like a blue pumpkin there. With a sort of... Uh, what is that? It's not a cat face, exactly. Uh, I don't know what kind of creature that is. Like a capybara face or something. I quite like that. Oh, that one's good. That's a good classic. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm standing on a pumpkin. I do apologize. Hera a hilariously regular skeleton. Well done. I like your pumpkin called Horrendous Pumpkin. I like it. Hello. Hi, friend. Do you know how to get in this church by any chance? Because I don't have any ideas. Um, No. How do you get in? How do we get in here? Do we have to do... Are we? Can we just walk through the walls? No, we can't. Oh, uh, click up. Can we click on a mushroom? Oh, we shrink. Oh, there's little things to interact with. Okie dokie. So if we click that, right, we're now back to full size. Okie dokie. This is a very, this is a very unusual pumpkin. This pumpkin is transcending reality itself by almost not being there entirely, but being there a little bit. Um, especially Grumpy Wizard. Well then, just a plain pumpkin. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. There's a teeny tiny one with a happy face. Yeah, we like that. Spine chillingly spicy fairy. That's a pretty decent pumpkin. Yeah, I agree. I like it. So we can look around in here. Look, there's a, um, yeah, a suitably sort of churchy pumpkin there. And we've got, oh, there's a little Among Us pumpkin there. That's very nice. There's, I don't know what that is up there, something coming through as well, but yeah, oh, hang on, there's a book, what does that say? Uh, unsettling a short hike law, ah, now yes, I believe this game is made by the same person that did a short hike, which is a game that we played some years ago now, but was one of the most adorable and wonderful and charming games I've ever played, it was really, really lovely, but uh, yeah, the person has also made this, so yeah, a bit of a change in contrast, you know, in terms of theme but I still think you're equally as lovely in its own right so um yeah okay we're in a spooky church I think we come out of the spooky church by shrinking there we go get back up to full size again in case we need to be big for whatever reason and um yeah let's go and have a look around at what else we can find can we find any other super duper mega pumpkins around there's a game boy pumpkin I like that you can have a like wildly classical soul I do think that's rather lovely oh and in terms of classic pumpkin I do like that as well that's a good old classic pumpkin but a very fancy advanced version of a classic look so not just eyes and a mouth there's some eyes with some fancy shapes and kind of you know the middle of the eyes are still solid there they've got eyebrows they've got teeth I like that as well well done, unusually whatever night. You get a lovely like, enjoy that. There's a spooky tractor driving along. I think it might be being driven by a skeleton. Yep, there's a skelly belly driving a tractor. Where are you going? Where do you go? Can we hop into the back? Yes, we can. Okay, we're going on a fun tractor ride. I imagine we just get in the tractor and just go and have a little look at all the things. We just get a little sort of tour of what's going on. This is quite good. Hello. Hello, ghost friend. How are you? Welcome to Dusty Fields. There's a house there that we want to go and look in. There's something in the house and a cobweb as well. Hi. Hello, timidly creepy critter. I hope you're having a fun time. I like this because there are no sort of, yeah, there's no time limits. There's no pressure. There's no points to score. There's nothing that you have to do except just go in and have a lovely time looking at pumpkins. Just other people's artwork which I think is rather lovely. And then, yeah, you can sort of go into camera mode if you like and take a picture if you want to. There we go. Take a picture of that. Take a picture of my new friends. Hello. I like your eyes. You've all got good eyes. I like the eyes. Nice choice there. Um, How do we come out of that? Okay, come out of that. Oh, oh, it's gone a bit green. It's gone a bit green and spooky. Ah, they said boo. Okay, hi. Hello, boo. Uh, but yeah, look, we just get a little tour. This is br this is so wonderful. Oh, hello. There's a chappy there that just made me uh, marginally jump a little bit. Oh, hello. You're not quite as scary. I expected you. Uh, but yeah, look, there's stuff around here. There's just some guy. And then we're going into... 
into here. Oh, okay, some creepy people on those cars and a kind of, uh, oh, there's some aliens. Hello, aliens, how are you? Lovely spaceship, very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, we're on a little kind of farm bit. There's something weird going on in there. What, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off and look in there. What's happening in here? I want to get off and look in here. What's this about? Can we go in? Yes, we can. There's just a pair of eyes. Oh, and they're blinking. Okay, slightly sinister, but okie dokie. Can we look around here? Uh, there's just a kind of a bust of somebody's head and and then a floating candle. Yeah, yeah like there often is. And now I think I might be a bit stuck. Nope, right, okay, I'm going back out again. Um, but then, yeah, look, still more to look at. Still more to look at. There are many, many thousands of them. Not quite sure how many there are, but yeah, it's definitely in the multiple thousands of pumpkins that have been, you know, sort of popped onto this server just for people to go and look at and have a lovely time finding and enjoying. Oh, that was the hayride of horror, but we got off about halfway or maybe three quarters of the way through. Okay, I didn't realise that. Maybe we should pop back on and then just go and finish it off. Maybe that should be something we do. Just pop back onto the uh, pop back onto the track to here. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Jump back on. And, um, yeah, we'll finish it off this time because we only got, yeah, maybe halfway around. So, uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Let's go and finish our journey around the Hayride of Horror or whatever it was. Um, I do want to go in that barn, though. I want to go in that barn as well because that also looks suitably spooky. Okay, we're going through a spooky barn. Oh, and there are many creepy coffins with hands coming out. Okay, that's a little bit sinister. That's a little bit creepy, isn't it? Oh, okay, there we go. So we really did nearly get to the end. The witch's house was the penultimate thing to go and look at as part of the Hayride of Horror. But there we go. We've completed the Hayride of Horror. Let's get off and have a little look in here, shall we? So there's a, oh, we've got, there's music. There's sort of jolly, happy music. This is good, I like this. We've got, uh, yeah, like a skeleton band. Not doing too much. Yeah, I've seen more animated musicians on a stage, but yeah, that's fine. We've still got some music playing, which is quite fun. And then of course, more things to look at. We can bop into these, they're fun. More things to look at over here, look. Loads, well, that's quite good. Is that a scream mask one? Oh, that's got little heart sprites. I like that. There we go. Pitifully Grumpy Goblin. I like your nerve-wrackingly crucial pumpkin. I find it lovely. Uh, but yeah, look, there's loads more over here to look at as well. And yeah, they're just happily playing some music. There is a radio, I think. I think, can you click? Yeah, you can sort of turn the music on and off. You can turn the music on and off. That's quite fun. I do like that. Um, so yeah, over here, there's a few more as well. That one at the back is very impressive. That's quite impressive. I like that one. Do you know what? That can have a like as... Oh, that's won, that's won awards. Okay. Right, yeah. That, that's worthy of awards, I would say. That's quite a good one. There's a bat swinging around. Anything up the stairs? Anything up here that we need to go and have a little look at? Um, don't know what that is. It looks very elaborate, but I can't quite work out what it is. Uh, I don't know what that is. That is... I've seen that before as well, but I don't quite know what that is. Uh, again, some good classic ones. Oh, that's quite nice. Ooh. It's quite a detailed face just there. Do you know what? You can have a point. You can have a like for that. That's good. Uh, there's a very a very grumpy looking Luigi. Okie dokie. That's won quite a few awards. There are some rats over here doing a um, doing a Ouija board. Or until I was in my what sort of late teens, um, a an Ouija board as I thought they were called. I thought it was an Ouija board and not a Ouija board. But there we go. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on can balance along here look there are so many places you can put these things hang on so you could if you wanted to make your pumpkin and then put it all the way over there or that person has or all the way over there or i mean can we sort of ghost across that no we can't jump so we couldn't sort of jump across the gaps but okie dokie right there we go we've had a look around a spooky barn now there's a spooky field of sunflowers and then there's more stuff out here Oh, this is lovely. I do like this. I think we take a look in that building there. What's going on in here? Anything particularly spooky happening? Got some more pumpkins over there, of course. I quite like that. I do like that. It's very simplistic, but it meets all the requirements of a carved pumpkin. It's got the two eyes and it's got a mouth. I like it. It's simplistic and basic and that's sometimes okay. That one is quite good. One appears as help. That's quite fancy. That's in quite a good place as well. As you walk in, look, it's right there. I quite like that. 
sometimes super pumpkin created by boundlessly confused cloud oh that's quite nice you can have a can have a like for that one that one says help uh <laughs> okay uh hang on who needs help uh dubiously shy poltergeist needs help okay we'll give you a like does that help out dubiously shy poltergeist i'm not entirely sure it does i think there's a maze over here okay i'm gonna go into the maze we might possibly not ever get out again but i think do we have to head for that thing there are we heading for that tower there's a big tower over there but okay let's go into the maze shall we and have a little look around in here um it did say on this sign here to well yeah study it well i can't recall that I cannot recall that at all. So uh, we're just going to go in and possibly get lost. I might never come out of here ever again. But uh, yeah, let's have a little wander around the maze and just see what there is. We can click on the gnome. What happens if we click on the gnome? Oh, the gnome in case of emergency. HMU. Uh, okay, what does HMU mean? I don't know what HMU means, but okay. Some sort of, uh, some sort of code for teleport you back to the start. Okie dokie. Right. Um, yeah, let's have a wander around the maze then, shall we? Let's see what we can find. Somebody's put an arrow just there telling us to go this away. Any more useful arrows to help guide us around the maze? I do like a good maze. I do like a nice kind of hedge maze type thing. These are always quite fun. Uh, right. Okay. I'm going to go and uh, have a wander around. David and Logan. David and Logan are saying that way, as is that thing there. So, okay, I'm going to go this way. We're going to follow the signs and hope they're not a trap leading to our inevitable doom. Although I was going to say inevitable death, but we're a ghost. So that's not really part of our concern. But, uh, ah, okay, this is a bit of a problem. There are no pumpkins telling us which direction to go in. We're going to go around this bit here and just hope we find something. Okay, all I've found so far is this tree and also a load of dead ends. Although right now, if I'm quiet... I can hear very faintly a little sort of gentle heart beating noise and a panting sound, which is a little bit unnerving because clearly that's not coming from us because we're a ghost. We don't have a heart and we don't need to breathe. So we're not going to be panting. So I assume somebody is nearby with a beating heart and they're kind of panting for breath, which is a little bit creepy. It might have gone now. I think it possibly might have gone a bit quiet, but that was a little bit strange. Um, okay, back we go this way. Let's go and see if we can find anything down this bit of the maze. We might possibly have to go and find a gnome friend and then try and restart things again. But I mean, it's going to be a joke. We'll do that. Look, there you go. Boot back to the start. I mean, is there a really obvious way that we're supposed to do this? It looks like you have to get up into that corner. But how would you get up into that? I mean, the maze is ginormous. How on earth do you get up into that corner? It's not, hang on, you can do it from this way as well. If we stick, if we go straight on, okay, we're going to go straight on. We're going to go this way and hope that leads us to the middle in some roundabout kind of fashion, possibly, maybe. Oh, hello. Do you know the way to the middle? There's Pac-Man. I like that one. I'm going to like that. Powerfully juicy ogre. Good job. I like your Pac-Man pumpkin. Okay, I'm at a T-junction. There are many, many pumpkins. That one there is very, very, very detailed. You can have a like for that one. Almost cute pumpkin. I quite like it. However, that one there is saying left. So I've come here and that's saying left. So I think we go this way. Let's follow the instructions of that one and go left. I mean, we are getting a little bit nearer to the creepy tower just there. So hopefully people have left more directions. Um, okay, we just keep going, do we? There's a cauldron. There's a cauldron. Do we, do we click on the cauldron? Is there anything to do with this, apart from it being sort of suitably sinister? That's a very creepy looking pumpkin. Oh, that's a little bit weird looking. Okay, we're going to go away from the weird looking one. And we're just going to carry on down here and hope that this is the right way although i'm not entirely convinced well we're getting near the middle because there is the big tower and we appear to be almost upon it but now where do we go from here there is a door i think there to get into the creepy tower do we go this way there are some more pumpkins down here any more hints any more hints over here i mean kind of initially i think we go like this but is this going to take us the wrong way is it yeah okay that's a dead end yeah very funny gnome friend ha 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 okay right let's head back over here then and possibly head out this way i hope we're not being led too far away from it look hang on hang on round hit botheration there's the door i just can't see how to actually well, hang on we're a bit higher up here can we use that to our advantage uh it's sort of in the middle over. Do we just keep going round? 
There's a jigsaw piece. Lovely. I like that. Nice jigsaw piece carving. Is this going to take us to the middle? Botherations. No, it's not. It's going to take us here. And that's going to bring us over here. We're so, we're so near. We're so, it's going to be somewhere around here. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. We're going to revisit, we're going to retrace our steps over here. And I mean, if we're a ghost, can we just go through the hedge possibly? I'm not entirely sure. I think we need to, that's just a dead end. There it is. After much wandering around and much confusion, and I even went back to look at the map, I found the way into the tower. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, right. Let's take a look at some of these because we've earned the right to enjoy these. I've been wandering about that maze for, I don't know how long, maybe about 20 minutes of possible real time, possibly a little bit more. So I'm going to take my time now and really enjoy looking at these. I mean, that one's quite good. I like that. Bit of a cheeky sort of uh, tongue sticking out thing. Potentially tricky fairy. I like that. That's good. Well done. I admire the cheekiness of it all. Let's go and have a look in here then, shall we? Oh, there is a skeleton there. Hello, I beat the Maze of Madness and all I got was this t-shirt. Indeed, but it's very good. That's very impressive. Is that the one we saw out at the on the sort of random algorithm table thing? I'm not quite sure. It looks sort of familiar, but okay, some good ones on here as well. I like how they're all different types of pumpkin as well. All different sort of styles and shapes and colours and things. There's some more sort of tall sort of most sort of squash looking ones there, the regular classic ones, the gigantic ones, the little ones, that one. Oh, look, it's got a little face at the bottom and at the top. There you go. You can have a thing as well. That lion's very impressive. You can have a prize for that one. Little, uh, little like, there you go. Um, You did it. Yes. I mean, it took a long time, but yes, we did it. We got there in the end. Okay, let's go, um, let's go up the steps, shall we? Let's ghosty our way up here. Again, another kind of minimal pumpkin there. That is, is that Two-Face? That could potentially be a Two-Face reference. We'll give that a like as well. That's quite fun. And I think maybe some of these ones over here uh, can have less likes and things because they're harder to find. They're harder for people to actually go out and find because you have to go and do that maze. And some people aren't going to bother doing that. But, uh, you know, we've got through. So let's take a look at these. I mean, that's a Half-Life one. I like that because Half-Life is fantastic. We'll do a bit of that. Thank you. That's quite nice. These are all good up here as well. I like these. Um, and then, oh, there's more. We can keep going. Oh, that's quite a good one. I like that. That's exciting. Uh, meow. Okay, yeah, you can, have a, you can have a like for that one. Vaguely dark poltergeist. You can have a like for that. That's quite fun. Uh, right, let's get up to the top, shall we? Have a little look around up here. There's one on a beam. Uh, that's quite a good one. And is that a person just inside a building that might be on fire or something? Again, another good class. It... Okay, I've fallen off. There's a hole there, everybody. I've sort of fallen off a little bit. Hang on, let me get back up again. I'm a ghost. Everything's fine. I can't break any bones. I haven't got any. Okay, there we go. Back where we were before. Pretend you didn't see me falling off. Okay, that never happened. Uh, yeah, that one there. We'll give that a like as well. I quite like that. We're still not quite at the top. Good grief, this takes a long time. It's very high up indeed. That one saying, yeah, ha, ha. Okay, yep, sinister sort of thing. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give that a like as well. This is great. I do like this. Uh, and there's loads up here, look. There's loads. There's ones with little rats on. That one says Walt. That's just a good old classic. That's quite good. That one's got a giant big mouth on it. Do you know what? Yeah, I like that. That looks sort of a bit scary, a bit frightening. There's a witch on that one. That one's doing that weird glowing thing again. I'm not quite sure how they've done that. There might be a trick to that. Maybe you sort of, I don't know, take a bit. You don't sort of cut all the way through the pumpkin skin. So it glows, but they've done it to the entire outside of the pumpkin. So it just glows a bit, possibly. I think our business is done here at the top of the tower. I think we've done everything we can do up here. However, I noticed down here, there is a little gnome friend. Hello, gnome friend. Can you please take us back all the way to the start? Because I don't fancy going back through the maze again, because it'll take me another 20 minutes to get out. So if you could just do your gnome magic... And there we go, teleported back, wonderful. So we've done the thing over here, whatever that was, the Hayride of Horror. We've done the maze, 
What else was there? Hang on, it was on the sign at the start. What other things are there for us to go and have a little look at? Okay, so we're at the notice board. We've done the Hayride of Horror. We've done the Maze of Madness. Award badges, not quite sure how to issue those out yet, but I'll try to find out. And then, of course, yeah, we have Play the Guessing Game. And then Do You Recognise This Spot? Come back on Halloween night for a surprise. That, to me, looks like a street just there. Street lights, a little kind of shop sign type thing. And over here, that might be a little town that we've not been to yet. However... Over here, I did notice while I was making my way back to the notice board that there were some people jumping around. They were kind of flying around, but they were little. They were little teeny tiny ghosts and they were jumping around. And I was wondering, how do you get up there onto that roof? Because there are pumpkins up on that roof, but I don't quite know how to get up there. There are some mushrooms up there, which would imply that you can change your size up there, but I'm not quite sure how to get up. There is a ladder there, so you can climb the ladder, but it only gets you so far. It gets you to the top of the ladder, and then you just come back down again. I wonder where... Right, the mushrooms are over there, aren't they? So I wonder if we have a little mushroom treat from over here. If we go nom 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 and we shrink, can we... Ah, we can jump around. When you're little, you can... Oh, you can jump when you're little. There we go. I've learned a new thing. And that's how we get up onto the roof. Okie dokie. Right, so when you're small, you can jump. Okay, so how far? I mean, oh. Oh, could we? Could we somehow, if we are very cheeky with it, if we could work it out, could we get a pumpkin up, up here? Could we put it on top of the churchy bit? That would be... I don't think we can stand on that. We could put one over here, though, look. We could just light it with that. Hello down there. I figured out how to fly around. All you have to do is become a tiny, tiny ghost by eating mushrooms, and then you can fly, you know, like you would perfectly expect. It's a completely ordinary thing that you would end up doing. I'm on the top of the church steeply thing. I think this might be possibly the highest point on the entire map. And look, we're balanced on it, and we're a ghost. We're a little ghost right now, but that's okay. Okie doke. I mean, yeah, if we could... If we could get a pumpkin up here, that would be brilliant. I don't know how these are the spots where the pumpkins are sort of uh, sort of chosen. I mean, do you just sort of click on the map and go, I want to put a pumpkin here, and then it appears there and you carve it, or what? I don't quite know how that works, but if we could somehow get one up here, that would be completely magnificent. But there we go. Now I know how we sort of, you know, float around and fly as a ghost. So you have to be a little ghost. And then you can just sort of hover around. Well, that's quite fun. I mean, as a little ghost, let's go all the way over here then. Let's look at this kind of town bit over here, shall we? Because we haven't been over here just yet. So let's go and have a little look around. That's quite an elaborate pumpkin. I like that. Wholeheartedly alarming werewolf. That's very good. That probably took a very long time indeed. But uh, right, okay. It feels a bit weird, actually, being a small, a small ghost. Everything seems huge and gigantic, but we can use our magic powers to get up here. Okay, so this is just like a town. This is just like a little town look. So it's more sort of spooky over there with the farm and the maze and such. And over here is a town. We've got houses. We've got little sort of back gardens and things. There's a sort of, I don't know, broadcasting mass type thing of some sort. There's a, oh, that is up here. Like a weird sort of rooftop pagoda -y type thing. What's this? Like, uh, uh, okay, it looks a bit sinister up here. It looks a bit, this looks a bit like where if you were in a cult, this is where you would come and meet and do sinister chanting. That's what I'm thinking with that. Um, and then, yeah, just other, other kind of stuff over here. There is a tunnel there. Can we go through the tunnel? Are we allowed in the spooky tunnel? No. Okay, we can't go in the spooky tunnel. That's absolutely fine. There's a shop over there. Ooh, okay, hang on. We've got, we've got some skeletons having a bit of a rave up over here. That's exciting. Okay, lovely. Hey, guys. I'm a little ghost. Am I allowed to join in? Oh, you've even got a disco lighting as well. If only you had a disco ball, it would make everything even more complete. Okay, yep, yeah, this is this is good. Right, okay, little kind of a uh, little tiny rave with the skeletons there. Marvelous. Anything else going on? Oh, there's a great big bit along here where there are loads of pumpkins. There are so many of them along here, look. They're just kind of on this kind of little rooftop bit on the back of these houses. Oh, there's loads. There are so many around here. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Hang on. Float back up to the top. That's very good. That's very elaborate. Yeah, you can have a like for that fully eager zombie. That's very impressive. Um, okay, it might be time 
to go, hang on, can we go back to normal size? Yay, we're a regular size ghost again. Okay, but now I can't jump around, which is a bit of a shame. Little bit of a shame, but never mind. Um, okay, let's walk around here while we're so normal size. But yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, it's very lovely. Little sort of houses going along there. Even more pumpkins to look at. There are a, a, a ridiculous amount. I mean, yeah, you could spend, you could spend hours and hours looking at these and never even get through them all. You'd be here for so very long. There's a little sort of alleyway type thing down here. That leads over to here. There's something going on there. Hello, ghost friend. Crikey. Uh, there's something there that's... <laughs> something there says, holy flip. I don't know what that means. Uh, there's a ghosty there. Oh, there are loads. Okay, right. Um, okay, this is all good. Hang on, another Pac-Man one. I like that. We're going to like that. Yay for liking Pac-Man. I think I've found the place the notice board tells us to stand to get a surprise on Halloween night. I think it's around here because you've got the street lights going down there and then you do have the little sign sticking out for the shop just there. So it's somewhere around here. So outside the shop and outside sub lane, possibly. I like that. But yeah, it's somewhere around here, I think. But I don't know because, yeah, right now it isn't Halloween night and it's going to you know, take a long time to become Halloween night. So I'm not going to be here at that point to find out what happens on this video. I mean, I could come along later and find out, I guess, but I can't get it on this video, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, I think it's around here somewhere. So something a bit spooky and sinister and Halloween-y is going to happen if we sort of stand around here-ish, I think, possibly. So I think we've had a good look around. We've looked at many different spooky buildings. We've been on a spooky tractor ride. We've jumped around a bit. We've climbed onto the top of a big spire. And of course, we've looked at many, many, many fantastic pumpkins. So I think now maybe it's time to go and carve our own. Okay, so we have to go and grab a pumpkin from our little kind of cart over here. So we can pick big ones, we can pick little ones. I think let's pick a huge, gigantic pumpkin, shall we, and make a statement. But let's go for a classic. I mean, that one's quite nice, but it's a more sort of paley kind of orange colour, almost bordering on white, I'd say. I want a classic pumpkin, an orange pumpkin, yeah, that everyone's very familiar with. You look at it and you think Halloween. So let's go for maybe that one at the back there. So we'll pick that. Okie dokie, here we go. Here's our pumpkin. So I think yeah, we can cut or we can scrape. Okay, that's what people were doing then. So the whole sort of glowing effect thing is where you scrape. So you kind of get rid of the outer layer of skin, I suppose. So it's yeah, still a bit of sort of flesh there. So you get a glow. And then if you cut through, you get kind of a brighter light shining out. Okay, right. So what are we going to do with our lovely pumpkin here? I think we do a double-sided pumpkin. I think on one side, we have TGC. And then on the other, we have the geek cupboard door. We could have the little kind of door thing. That'd be quite fun if we can make it work so how does this operate then so we have a cut tool so what do we do just kind of draw a line do we oh okay right so yes we can draw a line if we want oh so we can sort of just outline a bit of a shape oh this is very good this is very good okay so if we just do a t like that so cut that out and there's a t Okay, we've got the T of TGC, uh, and then, I mean, should we do the other sides? Should we do a teapot on one of them, possibly? That'd be quite fun, if I can muster the artistic skills to draw ourselves a teapot. Uh, okay, so now we need to do a G. Okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. How are we going to work this exactly? Because how do we do a curve? I'm not really sure, so hang on. Uh, I've got the logo in front of me, so it's sort of a bit like, maybe a bit like that. And then, oh, we just have to draw little lines, I think. Okay, this is going to be, oh, dear me, I'm not, I'm not very, I'm not very good at art. I'm not, a, I'm not a very arty person. Okay, so like this, and then it sort of comes in a bit like that, and then it can come out a bit, hang on, it goes out a bit more like that, and then in a bit like this, and then it sort of comes down, and then I think that's about the right, it's about the right sort of height, I think. I think that sort of looks... Okay, there's the G, and then we need the C. So I need to leave enough room. Uh, hang on, can we can we sort of rotate it? Oh, no, no, not that. I want Ah, there we go, rotate it round. So right click is rotate, okie doke. So then really, I think we want to do the edge of the C sort of a bit like that, and then it just sort of needs to curve a bit round, kind of like this, and then the C as it stands right now, sort of comes out a bit like that. 
and then it can just sort of go back in a bit like this and then we can loop around a bit like that there we go tgc the geek cupboard okay so i think here yeah, toggle lighting so it looked like that I quite like that, I'm happy with that. And then on the other side, we're gonna try to do the door. So hang on a minute, hang on. So we need to figure out exactly how, ah, there we go, that's quite helpful. So if we can keep that up like that, then we can see exactly, uh, hang on, the G is on that kind of bit there. So we want to make sure that it's here. Okay, so it's got to be along here. So the G, which is the middle of TGC, is on the exact opposite side of here. Okie doke. Right. How do we do a door? Okay, I suspect this is going to be a little bit trickier than I thought it might be. Although really, in principle, it should be quite easy because we're making a door shape and the door is rectangular. So it shouldn't be that difficult, but there's kind of a frame around the door and we have the door knob as well that I'd like to include. So it's a little bit trickier to make the door bit of the Geek Cupboard logo. So what I think we need to do is the yellow bit of the Geek Cupboard door, that needs to be cut out. That's kind of got to be the removed bit because then we're going to get a good kind of glow from inside the pumpkin for that. And then possibly around the edge, could we do the scraping tool to have the door frame? The only thing I'm not sure about is how we do the door knob itself because that's a little kind of bit in the middle of the door on the right. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. Do you know what though? I'm impressed with the sort of tool to do this. It's very, very easy to use, but very effective. I do quite like it. So let's get the door cut out, shall we? So if we start, say, just there, and then go across like that, and then come down like that, that sort of looks in a straightish sort of a line, and then like that, but then, yeah, we've got the doorknob over here. So if we go like that, and then just do a teeny tiny bit, kind of going in like that, yeah, perfect, like that, and then... How does the scrape tool work? Oh, it scraped it. Okay, hang on. It sort of scraped it. Ah, okay, hang on, hang on. Undo. Oh no, don't, no, redo, but then scrape here. Can we just scrape right at the very, very edge? A bit like that, possibly. Uh, and then, does it need another bit? Well, can we just sort of scrape around the edge? So if we then just scrape along like this, and then we'll put it into sort of night mode and see what it looks like. Does that look okay? Or does that look terrible? Hang on, we'll have to go and have a little look. So if we put it in on night mode, do you know what, that looks quite good. I'm quite happy with that. So the geek of a door with the doorknob, which I quite like, and then the door frame around the edge. I mean, we could be very particular. There is a little bit of a gap around the edge of the door. So we could cut a teeny tiny gap, but I think that might end up causing more trouble than it's worth because we're going to have to cut a little sort of um, a little very teeny tiny thin bit across there. And then, yeah, is that even worth? Eh, do you know what? It looks all right. It looks OK. I thought that would look significantly worse than it does. But no, it sort of looks OK. Hang on. So can we get that done? So cut that bit out and then start here. Uh, hang on. Start there then. And then come down to here. So it'll go across and up and then yeah finish that like that then we've got the door frame and then we've got yeah there we go I quite, I quite like that that's quite good and then we've got the door knob there so we can get in and out of the geek cupboard and then on that side it says tgc okay i quite like that do you know what do we just keep it simple do we just keep it simple i was thinking on that side do something and then on this side do something but maybe we don't Maybe we just keep it nice and simple. Like we said earlier, sometimes you could spend ages making a big, elaborate, clever pumpkin, and that's fantastic. But I think in this case, we keep it simple. We've got the door, we've got the TGC. Do we need to possibly put the TGC in a hex? Maybe we could use the scrape tool to do the hex around the TGC words there, because yeah, the TGC logo does have that font, and then it's got a kind of a light blue sort of hexagon around it. So possibly, if we could just do a bit of this, it'd be nice if we could have the sort of lines of the cut tool there where it does a nice sort of shaping, but with the scrape tool, because this, you kind of have to draw the lines on your own. And I mean, they're okay, I suppose. It's all right, but they're not as good as the lovely sharp lines are, which is a bit of a bother, isn't it? So we could have that sort of a bit like that. And then it kind of comes down to a point over here, look. 
but does that look does that look good i'm not i'm not entirely convinced uh do you know, no i i know i don't like it i don't like it with that we're going to get rid of that it looks better like that i think it looks a lot better like that there we go we'll go for that i think i mean yeah what if we actually cut i assume if we cut out that shape then the middle bit is going to fall out isn't it all that's going to go so yeah okay we'll leave it like that I quite like that. There we go. So we've got the Geek Cupboard door and the Geek Cupboard logo. I mean, that could be a little bit bigger, but you know what? I like it as it is. There we go. We've got our pumpkin. Right, now how do we go about putting this down then? How do we put this down in the festival bit? I'm not quite sure. Let's go and find out. I'm going to jab buttons. Oh, first we have to give it a name. So we're going to call it a Geeky Cupboardy Pumpkin. I like that. So we'll call it that. And then now we've saved it, do we have to assign it to the world? So here we go. We're going to go and explore. So we're in the classic world because, yeah, there are a number of different worlds. Oh, I figured out how to issue little rewards out, by the way. If you press escape plug, there's things that appear up here. So we can, ah, place a pumpkin. There it is. So you can place a pumpkin. Uh, but also, yeah, there's the alternate universe. So you can go into all these different sort of different areas, if you like. So if we loaded up, say, the cool world, we would have different pumpkins to look at in there. And the unknowable world, it would be different pumpkins again. But we're in the classic world. And I think that number there means how many of the people are here. So at the moment, there are six people in the classic world, including us. And there's a few of them right there in front of us. Hello, spooky ghost friends. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put our pumpkin out in the classic world. And then, yeah, up here, look... We do have a ward badge. Oh, good beret on you. <laughs> I'm a spooky ghost. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, you are indeed. Okay, hang on. Come out of that. Uh, yeah, we can chat as well, by the way. We can press B and have all these things. Um, we can put, uh, uh, hang on, we can put uh, boo and just go boo people. <laughs> Yeah, people can just leave things. Party all night. Ooh, spooky goings on. Uh, but yes, this is how we award a badge. Look, badges are a way to show appreciation to your favourite pumpkins. Place a badge on a pumpkin and other players will see it when they inspect the pumpkin. You can only award one badge per day. <gasps> There's a camera. So, okay, I think let's kind of have a little look around and maybe give a pumpkin a badge. Which one did we like quite a lot? Oh, is that a Choo Choo Charles pumpkin? Oh, that's very good. Do you know what, super scholarly baby? You can have a point for that. You can have a like. Oh, look at that. That's got many, many awards on it. Our award isn't going to go to that one, but it is very, very good. Do you know, I really like that pumpkin there. I think that's really, really clever. I like that one. This is in the little sort of tower type thing outside the roundabout, if you like, where the tractor goes around. So in that building there, it's in the corner. It's where the help pumpkin is. We came in here earlier, I think, but I don't think I looked down here. But yeah, I quite like that. So it's like a little dragon. It's like a little dragon all sort of curled up and it's got these exciting kind of dotty bits around it to give it a bit more of a background effect, which is quite nice. And then I think the only bits cut through are the dragon's eye and then its teeth along there, kind of like its mouth area. And then the rest of it's just been kind of scraped away. But I think that works quite well. That looks really good, I think. Do you know what? You can have that. A uh, timidly juicy pumpkin, it's called, uh, created by Holy Enrage Floating Eyeball. I think I've liked it already, haven't I? Yeah, I already like that one. But, uh, but yeah, can we please give that a little badge? There we go. We're going to give you a badge. Boop, stick it on. And there we go. That is fantastic. We've given our little badge to that one there, which is good. And, you know, I think it's a worthy winner. I think it's a worthy winner. But yeah, you can come back and give another one. You can do sort of one a day of those. So if you have got a couple of favourites, you can pop back in and award more badges. But yeah, that's where our one's going to go for today. On actual Halloween itself, well done to Holy Enrage Floating Eyeball. You've won a little rosette type thing. Marvellous. And now we need to figure out how to put our pumpkin down. So how does this work? So if we put place pumpkin, bring your pumpkins to the festival for everyone to see. Select a pumpkin you've carved and then find a spot to place it in the world. You can only place pumpkins in specific spots, which are marked with a white circle while holding your pumpkin. Okie dokie. Right, so got it. So we want to put down a geeky cupboardy... Puh. Oh, okay. That's that's not worked very well, has it? It should say a geeky cupboardy pumpkin, but it says a geeky cupboardy puh. Okay, right. Never mind. This universe is almost full. 95.2% of the pumpkin spots in this universe are taken. Okay. So, if we look around, there is going to be limited space. So we need to look around for little sort of spots on the floor where we might be able to put our pumpkin. I mean, it's that one. That says, that says reserved. Okay, that's reserved for somebody. Okay, maybe we are going to have to go to a different universe, possibly. Because, yeah, the classic 
universe is a bit full. Although I imagine the others are going to be nowhere near as nowhere near as popular. Uh, we're going to find somewhere. Do you know what we're going to do? This might be quite fun. I'm going to go away and hide this. I'm going to go away and put this somewhere. I mean, yeah, as we've just seen, it's not going to be in one of the main bits because, you know, there's only 5% of the spots left. But I'm going to go away and hide it. And if you do play this game, you can have a little look around. I'm not going to secrete it away right at the back somewhere behind a load of things. It's not going to be sort of really super hidden away. But yeah, I'm just going to put it somewhere. And if you do pop on to the classic world, so the classic world is where we're going to put this. If you do happen across here, then, um, then yeah, maybe you can go looking for it. And if you find it, then well done. Give it a few likes. Maybe even if you like it a lot, give it a little kind of Rosetti medley thing. That'd be quite nice. But hang on, I'm going to go away and secrete our pumpkin somewhere. I'm going to go put it down somewhere lovely and secret for you all to go and find. Okay, oh, there we go. Our pumpkin has been placed down, which is wonderful. Wonderful. And it's in a top secret place. I'm not going to give you any clues as to where it is. Just because I'm wandering around here right now doesn't mean it's over here. It could be over here. It could be over near the maze or near the farm bit where the tractor is. It could be near the big spooky tower. Or it could be all the way over there in the town bit, somewhere over there. I'm not going to give you any clues. If you want to go and look for it, you can go and have a little hunt around and hopefully you can find it. It's not hidden behind anything. It's not sort of inside a building tucked under a table or whatever. Yeah, when you get near to it, you will see it, I hope. So there we go. That's all good fun. It was quite tricky to find a spot, if I'm being completely honest because yeah it did say 95.2% of the spots for the pumpkins were taken which didn't leave that many spaces so yeah there we go there we go it is down we did find a space eventually and yes if you want to go and look for it then you are very welcome but uh yeah there are no clues as to where it is I'm just happily wandering around looking at all the other marvellous creations too and with that done I think we will wrap things up for now with our little look at the annual ghost town pumpkin festival I think we've had a very good look at the game to see what it's about and how it works and all that kind of stuff and I'm really happy that we took the time to look at this because it's just such a lovely charming friendly welcoming happy game that just welcomes creativity it just embraces it and says Do you know what you want to make a pumpkin you go and make a pumpkin make it look however you want it to look it can just look however you'd like and people are going to go and look at it and hopefully people are going to enjoy it and that's what I like most I think that people are just going on here and they're having a look at what other people have done and they're just going, yeah, do you know what? Like, I like that. I'm going to give you a like or I'm going to give you a little kind of fancy metal rosette type thing. There's nothing negative going on. And of course, you're going around as a little kind of fun ghost, maybe wearing a hat, maybe not wearing a hat. It's just really lovely. It's a really fantastic, brilliant community kind of thing that just all these people have come on here to make these pumpkins just for other people to look at and find. It's just really wonderful. It's really lovely. I'm very happy that we've played it. And of course, if you do go on here and you try to find the geek of a pumpkin, then please let me know if you do find it because I'd love to see just one person finding it and going, yeah, I found it. There it is. I've you know, spotted it. It's all very exciting, fantabulous. So if you do find it, please do let me know. That would be quite fun. But uh, yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. And yeah, let's just not forget this game is free. You can pay money for it if you want. And if you do pay a little bit, you get access to fancy hats. But you can just come on here and just enjoy it for entirely no cost at all, which is also quite fantastic. So yeah, if you do want to go and have a little go at it, there is a link in the description so you can go and find where to get it from and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, if you do, then I hope you enjoy it. And also, if you are doing Halloween-y stuff, then I hope you have a lovely time as well. But yeah, we shall wrap things up for now with our look at the annual ghost town pumpkin festival will we pop back next year possibly we could pop back and just have a look at some more pumpkins i do not know but yes it's an annual thing so it is a possibility that we could pop back and just see what's going on next time here in dusty fields and the annual ghost town pumpkin festival but for now we'll wrap things up Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. We'll substitute the chicken broth with... How about some beer? The showstopper challenge is complete, and I think you will agree that is that is an absolute showstopper. That's a showstopper and a half. The jug is a little bit broken. Why have you turned up to Christmas dinner in a suit and tie? Okay, so put that down. No, not that. No, pick it up. Oh no, they've set the kitchen on fire. <laughs>